Hello everybody, here's your Strategy Wolf and welcome back to another episode of Strategic Command American Civil War. We are going into the 13th turn versus Lucy and let's yeah, let's see again what happened. We're in this this turn probably Kentucky officially joins the Union, so a new complete a complete new entire front is going to develop. Um yeah, very interesting stuff coming up, so first let's check the replay together. Okay. Actually, <laughs> a little bit greedy here. <laughs> the enemy really wanted to kill this brigade off, but didn't happen. Okay, movements there at the Mississippi. In Arizona, no big movements. And again, the attacks over the Potomac. I don't really see the sense in this. Because even last turn they had already big losses and it doesn't look like a breakthrough for them, at least with those units. Okay, Graham Dot capture. Uh, Missouri, I, I saw them clear up a little bit in the west west of Jefferson City, so now they worried about the supply apparently. Okay, pro-confederate bandits cause disruption in Kentucky, this is nice. And what else? Lieutenant General Winfield, I'm really not sure what BVT means in this case. Retires as commanding general of the U.S. Army. Okay, the trench incident is sparked after the Union captures two Confederate diplomats on board. Oh, sad. <laughs> I guess you read it already. And our intelligence is spotting now for us, and we saw a brigade in Cairo. Mr. President, the Federal declaration of a blockade against our ports last April has already begun to impact our ability to buy arms and vital supplies for the war effort. While well, I have no doubt in the abilities of the Confederate Navy to challenge northern ships, it is likely that the Federals will attempt to launch amphibious operations to seize our ports, just as we did so successfully at Veracruz in 1847. In order to prepare ourselves for such invasions, I strongly suggest that infantry forces be sent to support our coastal forts and defend our coastline from enemy attacks before this blockade has a chance to shut down our posts any further. Recommendation. Send units to garrison major ports along the Atlantic coast and Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, that's what we kind of started anyways to do so. And apart from that, I definitely do <laughs> doubt the ability of our navy to challenge northern ships. But yeah, we'll see what more comes in. And yeah, we have another division as well as the siege artillery which was meant for Fort Monroe. And we need to find a at us other spot for it to bring it down and where we can make use of it. Okay, everybody, as always, I'm gonna have a look at what happened and take my notes, make some thought, have my thoughts, and yeah, think about my strategies. See you in a second. Okay, everybody, I'm back with my thoughts, and as always, let's start in the very west in Arizona. So, yeah, we got our new troops incoming, or not incoming, we, they arrived last turn i'm still missing the hq i hope like there's one coming but let's see and as i told you speed is kind of uh the main thing here so let's try to advance as far as we can fort craig that's nice and of course torn here needs to be taken out oh nice that's really helpful i don't know if this dudes here really can help uh none of those can really come to the aid Okay, the regiment here is probably not so important right now. We can use it here to clear up and just have a tiny unit here for reconnaissance also. That's... Yeah. Oh, nice. Surprising. <laughs> Even good for us. Nice. Yeah, I think this was just like to weaken it further. Actually, I didn't expect the hit, but okay. And yeah. With these kind of preparations, I'm pretty sure that Fort Thorn will fall next turn, and uh, we can yeah, proceed further north. Also, this front is going to receive, uh, just that you already know, um, uh, here, production. Uh, it's going to receive, 14th of November we get, November, we get this mountain uh, division, and probably it's, it's designated for this area, so I'm going to place it here. So in three, four turns, we're also going to have a mountain division in this area. Which is going to, um, yeah, support any offensives that I don't know when we're gonna meet serious resistance. I suppose, or I, yeah, that the enemy tries to block off here, or there must be something. But yeah, if we're lucky, we're fast enough. 
Anyway, so much about Arizona. So let's go to Texas or yeah, to basically what we started last turn, our shipment. So our Rangers, potentially, they could make it up to here or even up to here. At least to the place here, let's say. Oh, also not. Oh, just up here. So actually in this case, I'm not gonna push them up, up here because here they can be attacked still by the um, by the ships of the Union Navy. However, I can't protect them with my river boats because this field is open water, so I can't go here. So just this one. So what are we doing? And here's a Union ports, you know, that they can always see these fields. But it's pretty helpful for them. What I'm going to do is gonna ship up this unit, let's say, in this area. So it's in between the lines. I hope I don't meet any other gunboats here. The gunboats probably, at least I did, in my single player, I moved them from these ports over here to attack the lines here with gunboats. So, and frigates would be in this area. So I really hope this is a, like a hole where I can't really be attacked. So let's just move here and hope next turn I'll be able to clear this up. And if it's free, I can just rush in this one. Bring them to New Orleans or then where they designated to go to in this area. Yeah, <laughs> long route, but okay. So, so much about these ones. Let's go to Oklahoma where this regiment escaped last term or tried to escape from Boggy Depot or from this Fort Washita, but without supply, this should be easy prey. Okay. Let's move them here so we can reinforce them. The next one on the list is Fort Cobb. Kill them off, goodbye. So yeah. Oh. Oh, missed. Uh, shit. I should have taken these, these things just for clearing up. Maybe I'll do this next turn. A little bit of waste of time or action points, but okay. So we. I hope I can use these ones to take Fort Cobb. Um, and that's it about Oklahoma and uh, let's move to Missouri. This is one of the main interesting uh, parts because last turn, as you remember, I got already kind of uh, greedy here and thought I might be able to relieve Jefferson City. But now with our extra reinforcement, we s definitely see that a lot of troops on, I mean, these are still weak troops and I'm not sure if they will manage to take Jefferson City next turn. But there is a significant number and we saw also some troops taking down or like overtaking these places on the west. So there will be a, at least a diff another unit around here. So with our given number of weak units and the apparent greed or that she pushed, pushed over the Mississippi here um, leads me to the, clue, the, or the conclusion that I will not be really able to do what I wanted to do. However... Let's just move. These ones were designated to open up the line in case of a surrender. So we keep these guys here. However, I wanna keep her worrying. So let's do an attack. Oh, damn it. Oh, I was, this time I was unlucky. And let's retreat. Whilst with these ones, I want to attack the HQ for some nice extra damage. And... Just for the presence, I will retreat here. Price goes here. These dudes I'm taking back to Fort Davidson. And with this cavalry, let's make them bury a bit that they can't really relieve this entire thing so easily. So let's see what's up here. Basically, on the long term, I would love to have the cavalry in this area, but yeah, for now, I want to rather have them bury so and know what's going on here. And yeah, Wadey moves up here. And this troop, this brigade, where do I go? Yeah, also in the long term, I want to move it up basically, but can I open up everything quickly enough? Is the good question in case we fall, or is it better off here in Fort Baxter? Maybe for the moment. 
why it doesn't have any reconnaissance. So definitely cavalry would be more useful in long term, maybe get in the kind of exchange between these two units, that would be nice. Or when we have new natives coming in, they can join this front over here. So yeah, that's so much about Missouri, not so successful, just two damage for us, one for them, yeah. At least it's making them worry, that's my main concern right here. I think they will not have, like, f go down just to chase my troops, they will focus on Jefferson, but let's see. Yeah, so yeah, no, I think our hopes that I really could relieve Jefferson, they were a little bit too megalomaniac. Anyways, we continue over here. Um, we have next to Cairo. I'm really surprised how much with how many troops the enemy crossed the Mississippi, because yeah, this is okay for me. This is kind of not very precious stuff, and yeah, she was very eager to kill off this brigade, which didn't take place. However, those troops will be missed in Kentucky, which is now at war. So let's see. First of all, this brigade with the capture of uh, Cape Girardieu, this one went down to supply 3, so I don't, and there's no real value having it here, so I don't want to lose it at supply 3, so it, cost, it would cost me more to rebuy it, so I just actually retreat it here behind the river. If they want to destroy it, no problem, but it's at uh, supply 5, so I can buy it back. And on the other hand, I kind of hope that I will be able to cause a lot of havoc here that the enemy decides anyways to take the troops back. So coming to the new front, <laughs> Tennessee and Kentucky. Let's see, we have what we got. Um, for the prime target here is keep the enemy four hexes away from Nashville, which increases our chances of increased relations to the Europeans in combination with the Richmond uh, position. So. However, as I told you before, I feel like we can mainly achieve stuff as long as we have space to exploit the empty spaces. So my best case will would be that we can move up here, 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 and as I told you, like kind of up here, so we have a better defensive position far away from Nashville. So let's have a look. Uh, we have our boats here, so let's just use them for some reconnaissance first. Um, we could go for a 1-1 one, one hit versus the Timberclad, it's an interesting option for sure. But can I retreat far enough after this, that's the question. Because I don't want to lose it immediately. Now let's just keep it here, that she knows there is a boat up there, that's nice to good to have, and we have it back here in some reserve, and also this... Um, Bridge is kind of being blocked. It's not a bridge, <laughs> it's the state border. Oops. So, yeah, anyways. Okay, interesting. First thing, let's take the other boat and move up here. Carefully. Um, is there any. Does it make any difference where I bring it? So, at least we know basically that there's no bigger defense here. Which means we leads me definitely already for this move. It's only one, but yeah. Moving up here is a nice thing. How many action points are left? Action points four. If I go here, one, two, three, four. I can't really retreat far enough. Oh, I already can't retreat far enough, so let's do the spying. Oh yeah, okay, this one I was already kind of too greedy, at least we're blocking off. This is a bridge in this case, no? This should be a bridge, yeah, yeah exactly the street. So at least uh, we know what's going on here, no danger coming from these sides. With these dudes, let's just risk it. Okay, what a surprise, it is, it is manned. So... Let's damage this regiment. Oh, actually, which leads me to kind of precarious situation if the enemy decides to come over here. Could cut me off. Oh, but they can't move it. Okay, this was kind of a mistake, I would say. Let's try to cut at least this open here, so when if we take this, there's a street coming from here, so in, even in case they cut it off, maybe there's supply over here. Yeah, but I'm not fully worried. We'll be able to manage this. Or shall we move extra reinforcements? I don't know. So let's use our cavalry here to get some scouting. 
and I think I'll go here and then somewhere over here to get the best overview what's going on. And somewhere over here. Nothing big on this front. Let's take Johnson to occupy Hopkins Road. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was really bad scouting and they're running with the HQ in an ambush. That's really bad stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ay, ay, ay. Now we have to damage it here. Oh. This doesn't turn out okay. This turn doesn't really turn out nicely so far. Definitely not. Um, I kind of feel like we need reinforcements definitely in... So I guess both of the divisions need are needed here to clear this one up. And uh, the question is if I'm taking the brigade to protect this. I think it's a good idea. Nevertheless, I wanted to exploit empty ground. Let's not get lose the original target. Okay, at least this one can be secured here. We have these rangers coming in to work on this front. And yeah, let's go. Let's see what can be done with these dudes. Or do we need them? Maybe we have them here so we even have the flexibility to use them in this area if we need to work over here. Yeah. And him, Long Street. Do I expose him here? I really doubt that there's a heavy force in this area right now since these troops are here and there was a struggle with Cairo. And yeah, for sure there's more Union troops, but. We gotta risk stuff. So Springfield it is for Long Street. And I can tell you this already now. I'm gonna use this definitely this division to reinforce also this front. Whew, well this was a way worse start into this. I, I expected a way smoother ride into this, and this was actually bad performance by me. I didn't really uh, scout this, so these losses at the HQ. I hope this won't be a problem. Here I'm also a little bit... Actually, another... Yeah, let's just move this up maybe to distract any movement over here. So yeah, this could, could potentially be helpful also. Yeah. Let's see, it depends all on the enemy reaction and how many forces are there. I, I, I doubt there's going to be a counter-offensive that's going to crush me immediately. <laughs> if so, uh, well well done. But I feel like we can, worst case, we can always retreat still. So, so much about Tennessee. Um, okay, which leads us to the east. Where, yeah, nothing big already ha really happened. We're going to reinforce these two brigades here. Then we wanted to move up Jackson, um, so probably you could do a little bit of a shuffle here. Um, yep. So for the moment, I'd... let's see if the oh. How come the situation didn't? Decreased a bit. Sorry, you stay here. <laughs> and Polk stays here. So let's just. Looks good. Now it looks good, yeah. So we. And Jackson here is also gonna be a nice uh, general for potential offenses here versus. Do I see. No, I can't really see Washington. I was already thinking for a second it's still not really protected. Which leads me to the setup of the siege artillery. Uh, it was meant for Fort Monroe, which is not necessary now, but it's a very slow unit and static. So with these, with this, uh, the two options were basically here, uh, not here, here in the in the Tennessee area or next, next to the Potomac front. And I think I'll keep it here either as a threatening piece that if she discovers it she knows I have artillery here which could 
to pick the offensive, or maybe for an offensive here to push into Maryland. So yeah, definitely the artillery here. However, this turn I'm not gonna use, or like I'm not gonna use it so soon. It needs to march up first, but yeah, it's here. So for this side, um, also I was talking already about marching on Pittsburgh because I saw no defensive here, um, and also about talking about moving to Guyan Dot, which is now taken by the enemy. Fair enough. Um, still, this leads me to conclusion. I'm gonna stop with this regiment here, just behind the bridge and defend the forest and the hill. Uh, at a supply of six. Um, it should at least hold off one brigade or something for a while and this is also not so rele super relevant. Parkersburg, we saw last turn that we have crossed the... Oh, I can actually reinforce them to 10 here. Which I'm not doing right now. Let's just keep them here. We know that there's a, tr a unit over here, but yeah, we're gonna keep this to protect it. I've I made my calculations, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But actually, let's adjust my calculations and I'd rather reinforce those because this could be potentially important at some point, so let's do it. And these partisans, I said I'm gonna use as a scout, in this case, they're gonna um, like take Morgantown for a while. So we have them here scouting in this area. This cavalry division, which, oh yeah, I'm getting confused. This cavalry division is basically already showing that there are troops in this area and she knows what is going on. So, yeah, the idea of an offensive up here is probably going to die off soon. However, yeah, it's not a big problem. Like, we can hold this pretty easily as some kind of more reconnaissance unit. Our heroes from Alexandria move over here, take the street to Philippi, so it's not disrupted. And yeah, with those guys, I can march up and see what's going on here. Or yeah, we'll see the re wait for the reaction. This is not a big of a deal right now. So good stuff. Um, oh yeah, here. This weakened unit we can attack maybe. Nice, two hits for them, none for us. Let's go even for a shuffle. Wow, even more, two more hits, nice. Is there any other good attack possibility for us? Let's try this. Two, one. But yeah, that's... Uh, this position should be strong. So some nice uh, damage inflicted, but that's it here. Um, yeah, from last turn we also got this new engineer. Um, I'm gonna take this brigade up here. Also nice to see a little bit more of what's going on here if there are ships. I hope I would see this. And we can start fortifying over here with a starting next turn because now I had to force march them. But yeah, next turn these generals will, uh, these engineers will start some defenses here followed by these two axes so yeah norfolk should be harder should be uh, protected as much as possible then we continue here at elizabeth city okay um so that's kind of it for this turn already like okay let's, let's go for the purchase screen and diplomacy so yeah due to the uh due to kentucky joining the union i have one chit free for diplomacy which was invested in kentucky and I am going to actually spend it on the UK, which, yeah, you might think this might be stupid. I'm not sure, maybe it is actually, but uh, the handbook tells you to fully invest in the country you're going for, which is France, and I thought three would be the maximum, actually. However, I could further invest, but um, I will go for the shit in UK, or maybe even uh, add another one when Apache fades out, that... In case it hits, there's still a chance. Either we have more flexibility in the future, we could also focus on them, or it distracts the enemy and makes them believe we're investing heavily on the UK, while the main target is still France. So, one shit in UK. That's what I was thinking. Um, and then we're gonna purchase, like, once again, the kind of boring order of three divisions. And yeah, since um, I've spent 20 MPP more than I wanted, I can't build the river ironclad anymore. However, I'll just get for 100, in this case, the um, 
general uh, Colonel Lovell. The Little Rebel, that sounds nice. The Little Rebel, uh, Little Rebel River Timberclad, which will help us up here a bit as well. And Hopkins will ambush this. Uh, this is a little. This was really not good. <laughs> I feel really exposed here. This is not really what I wanted to achieve. But yeah, I didn't bring more troops, and let's just hope the enemy doesn't have a lot of troops available as well, or that these actions over here or here really distracted. Which, what that's what I'm thinking, to be honest. But let's see. Uh, maybe there's events coming up. Namaho raids in New Mexico intensifies Confederates' approach Albuquerque. Oh, already. Navajo prepares for war. Pro-Union bandits cause disruption in Missouri. Nice. But... Okay, just blockade raiders. That's it, so, yeah. See you next turn. And infantry equipment development. Oh, very nice. That's going to be very helpful. Fort modernization also, oh, really nice in terms of, um, yeah, in research this turn. And we're developing production technology, which makes production already cheaper next turn. Also industrial technology, which makes, uh, gives us more MPP next turn. A lot of stuff is happening on the research front, this one. Oh, it means also we're going to spend a lot of um, MPPs on research next turn as well. Okay, that's... Then it for the term. Let me know what you think, what <laughs> how this is going to unfold soon. And thanks for watching. Leave me a like and a subscription. And yeah, then see you next turn in the 14th uh, turn. And we'll see what's going to happen with the Tennessee and Kentucky front. As well as all the others, of course. Thank you for watching. See you next turn. Bye.